happened at least four times yesterday. Roads buckled in the heat at Redwood Road and North Temple. The ramp from southbound I-15 to 2100 South. Southbound I-15 there at 2100 South as well on the freeway. And US 89 at 3000 North in Davis County. Fox 13 News reporter Darian Brule spoke with the concerned driver and UDOT about the impact of roads getting too hot. First, it was potholes. Now it's road buckling. I'm not too surprised with the road buckle because of the heat. When it gets hot outside, incredibly hot like we've seen, uh, that concrete expands. And there's usually an expansion joint there that allows that to happen. Now, if that expansion joint is clogged with dirt or rocks, you know, just little bits and pieces, it doesn't allow any place for the concrete panels to expand, so they essentially go up. This road on North Temple and Redwood Road was just one of many to see road buckling in the past few days. John Gleason with the Utah Department of Transportation says the North Temple buckle was one of the bigger ones they've experienced. It um, spanned the uh, width of Redwood Road and, and uh, we actually closed down um, Redwood for uh, for a little while there so that we could get a uh, an asphalt patch in. Cindy Maesta says as a driver, road buckles like the one on North Temple are concerning. You don't know they're there until you hit it. Road buckles. And hitting one of those going that fast, that's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, it's scary, it's hard on our cars. As soon as there's a report of a road buckling, our crews will get out there, they'll close down the, the lanes and cut out the affected uh, pavement. And then we can either put in a, a quick asphalt patch and then come in for a more permanent fix later on when traffic counts are lighter, or we can put in a quick setting a concrete patch and, and get the road open again in about two hours usually. Maesta says she was pleasantly surprised to see the North Temple Road buckle was already fixed and hopes other roads with damage can be fixed quickly as well. During the summer months, that's when we get a lot of our work done on new projects, maintenance projects, uh, making sure that our roads are in good shape. And, and so, you know, our crews are ready. Our crews are, are out there. They're ready to uh, respond. In Salt Lake City, Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.